And here are the results from this qualification. We know Tunisia turning over Democratic Republic of Congo yesterday and Central African Republic beating Madagascar by seven. Earlier today, the Central African Republic went down by just five points to Tunisia. And our game here wraps things up for Afro Basket qualification. As you can see, Tunisia leave with a perfect record. Our teams here this evening, Congo with a 2-3 record and Madagascar yet to pick up a win. As I say, Madagascar might not be able to progress through to Afro Basket 2021. I don't expect them not to come here wanting to win today's game. They want to leave on a high and a win against the Democratic Republic of Congo would be do wonders for their confidence moving forward to future competitions. As we see the team being introduced onto the floor now. be uh, excited to secure their eighth appearance at Afro Basket with their qualification here. Second appearance in a row as well, so things are going in the right direction for them. They finished sixth in 2017 with a two-win, two-loss record, including wins over Cote d'Ivoire and Nigeria. Big, big wins for them. As we see now, Madagascan team introduced here in the arena. And we'll shortly have the national anthems for both these teams as we set the scene for the international competition. The scene is set for another wonderful game of international basketball here in Tunisia. As I say, the final game now of Group A and the Afrobasket 2021 qualifiers.
our officials for this evening. We have two in camera, but we have three in total. Sane Kamahe from Cote d'Ivoire, Charles Hubin, Leslie from Mauritius, and Samuel Shafuloui from Nigeria. Strong officiating crew to close out what has been a wonderful qualification campaign for both teams. Democratic Republic of Congo will be excited to make their way to Rwanda later in the year for Afro Basket 2021. Who knows, maybe they can go one step further, maybe a spot on the podium and a medal around their necks is on the cards for this roster. A ton of talent within it as well, that's for sure. And here's the starting five, Chabongo, Kamba, Ayembe, Caracelli, Rika is our starting five with support off the bench. So Coach Eckhoff will be pleased that the qualification has already been secured. They can relax, enjoy the final game they have together in the qualification window. There he is, Matthias Eckhoff. He's done a good job. His team's done a good job. Attention will now start moving to AfroBasket 2021. And which 12 players will make that final cut? Which will make the roster? That's still up for discussion, and that's what the players will be fighting for now. As we see the Madagascan team enter their final warm-up. Let's have a look at the starting five for the Madagascan team. Eli, Citraka, Constant, Botu, and Lahontan is the starting five. Again. They rotate well, have done throughout the qualifications. They might have got a win under their belts. Coach Rasa Molina will be taking some positives from this. They've pushed certain teams hard. They've shown glimmers and glimpses of exactly what they can do. They've just not really been able to string a full 40 minutes together to secure that elusive win. Who knows, tonight might be the night where they do. Certainly could be the way. Plenty of talent within the roster. Razanama Hanina is averaging 21 points per game, three and a half rebounds. Had 29 points yesterday against the Central African Republic, alongside five rebounds as well. Let's listen to the final instructions from the coaching staff. Teams now making their way to the floor. Just a quick reminder before we get things underway. If you want to stay up to date with all the latest Afro Basket action, best place to head, fever.basketball forward slash Afro Basket. Great site, tons of feature and content. All the box scores that you'll need, player profiles, highlight videos. And if you want to jump onto the box score as we progress through today's game, please do. Might just be the geek in me. But can't go wrong with a second screen of the box score alongside watching the game. Final words for the fives that are taking to the floor. As we see Coach Rasa Molina getting his final communication across to his team.
Seems like an eternity ago that this qualification campaign started. These teams have worked hard throughout that process and we're now at the final game. Here we go, Afro Basket 2021 qualifier. Group A, final qualifier of the entire campaign. Madagascar taking on the Democratic Republic of Congo. Strong first move, couple of offensive rebounds straight away as Kayembi grabs two offensive rebounds in a row, just pure upper body strength and heart to get those rebounds pulled down. Yembe for three. Oh, what a start to the game for him. Two offensive rebounds and a three-pointer. That's the start of dreams. Mahontan brings it up over the half. Being closely guarded by Kabongo. Step back jumper. The roll is not favorable. Sally hands it off. Good ball movement here from Congo early on. Kamba. They move themselves well and the ball move inside. The and one play not quite there for Kiembe. He'll head to the free throw line to earn his points. Foul's going to be blown on to Botu. Let's have a look at the replay of that opening three. Remember, that's off the back of two offensive rebounds. He's now drawn a foul and earned himself a trip to the three-throw line. What a start to the game for Kayembe, averaging 13.5 points, 5.3 rebounds. This is his fifth game in the qualifiers. Connects with both free throws at the line. An early five-point lead here for Congo. Mahon top looks to find Andrea Mam Pianona, but unfortunately can't hold on to it. Officials just making sure jerseys are tucked into shorts. Sideline possession. Camba inbounds it to Bongo. Almost past Cabaselli, feeds it inside. Offensive foul is going to be called on. Kayembe, overly aggressive in the low post. Let's have a look at the replay. Yeah, I think it's that right arm. He's hooking down onto the arm of Botu. Camber, good defense. Lahontan moves it well. A short shot is rebounded by Congo. Kabongo now. Nice change of direction. Floats inside, swatted away. Raharaman Anantoinina with the rejection. Rises up high, times his jumper to perfection. And it's almost a certain bucket. And Vika now hands it back. Longer. Camber, he's short with the three as well. Neither team really found their range outside of that first three. Oh, and that man's at it again. Kayembe. Just bully balls his way to the basket for another two. Strong drive to the basket. Can he get the score? He can. Rahanaman and Antoinina off the glass. Back to Kabongo. He's going to put the three up. Oh, in and out. That one looked like it was going home. Didn't happen. 
Lahon Tam will bring it back the other way. Good patience being shown by Madagascar offensively. They run a good structured team offense. Hat tip to coach Rasamalina. Stolen away though, shot clock down to five. What can they do with it? They're gonna have to create pretty quickly. Shots off target by Raharaman and Antoinina. Yembe brings it back out now to Kamba. Kamba, a couple of crossovers. Kayembe doesn't take the three. Instead, he'll come back to Mavuika. Shot clock to five. Madagascan defense doing a great job. Foul's going to be called, though, on Lahontan. Just slight mismatch in size was causing some problems for Lahontan. Mavuika with the crossovers, drawing Lahontan into him. And that was that left arm eventually, wasn't it? Just reaching in too far. Shame, really, they'd done a great job in forcing Madagascar, uh, sorry, forcing Congo late into the shot clock. Coach Ekhoff will be happy that his team have qualified. It's not reliant on this result today. And half a mind, I'm sure, from his perspective, will be looking forward to the tournament. Quick ball movement here by Congo. Ball comes back out, Mavuika, no joy, and the putback dunk with authority from Kamba. Wonderful timing. Otu hands it off, gets it back. Oh, well played. One, two, just a quick movement and a flash to the basket created the space that Botu needed. Mavuika comes back to the top, but it's stolen away. The pass was telegraphed too easily. What can Madagascar do? A retreat in Congo defense is enough. Slow things down. Almost halfway through the first quarter, it's certainly gone swiftly. Stolen away, Mavuika. Oh, what a pass out in transition. High off the glass for the two. Smart play by Kabongo. Congo's lead extends to seven. Botu now. He'll hand it back to Lahontan. Patience again from Madagascar. That's a long way away. Always going to be a tough shot for Ravalo Manatsoi. Number for three. Drops the three. And Conga, Conga are dominant right now, absolutely controlling this game. Double digit lead, there's the putback dunk by Kamba. And throughout their roster, the confidence is rising for Congo. Kamba being a, a real spark plug for it. Timeout has been called by coach Raza Molino. Molina, sorry. Let's jump into that Madagascan timeout. Here are some of the highlight plays so far, and Congo are in dominant form. Obviously, uh, an increase in confidence after securing progression through to Afro Basket 2021. Kiyembe already with seven points, two rebounds, done a great job. Madagascar not looking overly confident. Their offense is very structured. They're following, obviously, the plays that they've worked on. Foul's going to be called. That was it, a step out of bounds. Let's have a look. Foul's on Mandin Bison. Yeah, stepped out of bounds. Turnover ball, not what Madagascar needed coming out of their timeout. Needed a, a bit of a change of tempo. 
Looks like they've dropped into either a 2-3 or 2-1-2 defense. Coach Eckhoff praise to the skies as his team turned the ball over and hand it back to Madagascar. Botu now brings it up over the half. Hands that off to Mandan Bison. Oh, nice pass inside and a good finish by Lahontan. Oh, the pass down low was a good idea, but not executed well. The transition pass from Madagascar, though, is phenomenal. As Ravalo Manansoy will make hay of passes like that. Reduces the Congo lead to just six points now. Kabongo looks to feed the post to Sacco. Back out. Kabongo for three. Drains it. Bottom of the bucket. And the Bison at the top. Looking for things to happen in front of him. Nothing there so far. Have to create for himself. The long two is short. And Yembe gets it into the hands of Kabongo. Back to Kiyembe. Neither team fully fluid at the moment on the offensive end. Things a little bit stuttery. Kabongo, mid range two is good. Tough shot as well. Hadn't quite set himself. He was fading to the left as he released. That's a serious level of difficulty to the shot. Kabongo's lead up to 11 now. Lahontan comes back out. Shot will go up, and it's no good from Botu. What can Kabongo do? He's going to go straight to the basket. Oh, he slips off that right foot. I hope he's okay. It looked like it gave way on him. Oh, behind the back. Sweet play, but couldn't get the finish. Beautiful looking play by Ravalu Manansoy. Shot is good. And Congo continue to make them pay as Camber hits another shot. He's up to double digits now. No, sorry, he's up to eight points, four rebounds. Foul is called. Langer called for the foul. 14 point lead now for Congo as Kabonga goes to the bench. Stunning point guard's done his job. In comes Cedric Bonga. Bo two at the line for shots. Uh, a couple of technical issues having to be clarified. 1.45 left in this first quarter. As I say, the final game of Group A for this Afro Basket 2021 qualifiers. And so we are uh, treated to a great game as we've had throughout these qualifiers. Been absolutely wonderful. Let's see if we can finish it off with a flourish. Botu on to the free throw line now for shots. Hits the first, 67% from the free throw line prior to today's game. It's played in every single one of the qualifiers for Madagascar. Comes up short. Will he get the roll? He won't. Rebound falls into the hands of Sacco. Mananga now. Anger waits for the screen from Sacco. Into the hands now. Candy, good to go. Smart play straight into the game, making an impact. Garmin Candy.
Lahontan waits for the screen, uses a spin. Botu just blasts to the basket and gets the score, draws the foul. I think that one's going to get blown against Cedric Bonga. He's not sure what the call is. But the officials are. Botu will go to the line for the potential three-point play. Can't make them pay fully. Eventually, the rebound falls into the hands of Gandhi. Mananga puts up the float. Pass was maybe a little bit ill-advised. The defense was too tight for an alley-oop pass to work in that situation. Oh, rejected, but the foul's going to be called as Ravello Manansoy goes strong to the basket. with the second, so Congo's lead stays at 12 as we enter the final minute of this first quarter. And that foul is going to be called on Ravelo Manansoy. As Coach Russell Molina looks over his team. Madagascar definitely making the steps in the right direction. I think it can be considered work in progress, this roster. They've had, as I said, in a build-up glimpses, flourishes, phases of superb play. They just need to bring a 40-minute performance together and they'll see a win come their way. Ball is thrown away, but it's going to remain with Congo. Monanga tries to get a pass to the wing, but it's deflected away. Mananga. Jumper is good. What a shot. Ubakar Sacco from the wing drains the three. Eight seconds left now in this first quarter. Varela Hay comes up. Sorry, Ravello Manansoy comes up short. The heave is long. But off target from Mananga. And that sees us close out this first quarter. Plenty of smiles on the faces. The players from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Not so many for Madagascar. As at the end of the first quarter, the score is Madagascar 12. Democratic Republic of Congo 27. Currently going as the form book would have suggested. But still plenty of time for Madagascar to make an impact. Here are your shooting stats, impressive from behind the arc for Congo. Can they keep that up for the next 30 minutes? Here are the highlights from that first quarter. And the majority of them belong to the Democratic Republic of Congo. They came out of the blocks pretty quickly. Some big plays from Kayembe. Both inside and out, whilst Madagascar struggled to get their offense firing. They ran through the plays. It didn't quite create the options they would have wanted. Probably the highlight play of the first quarter was that put back by Cavaselli. Still 30 minutes to play, though, in this final Afro Basket 2021 qualifier, as you see the reaction from coach Ekhoff. <laughs> Even though the game doesn't affect qualification, coaches and players alike give everything on the floor. And we're underway, second quarter action here. Group A, Afrobasket 2021 qualifier after 10 minutes. 
Congo lead by 15. Into the corner, La Hontan. Can't get it to go. Ravello Manansoy looked to try and get the tip back, but mistimed his jump. Sacco feeds it inside. Good ball movement. Mananga for three. He's short. Rebound pulled down by Varela Hay. Stolen away. Here comes Kande. Hands it back to Mananga. Scrappy opening to this second quarter, but Madagascar are going to get the score on the finger roll from Botu. Go lead down to 13 in the opening minute of this second quarter. Mananga corner three, in and out. Rebound pulled down by Farrella Haig. Long tan. Hits the pause button. He's thinking about hitting the three, but wouldn't quite get the space he wanted. Good defense by Garmin Kande. Deflects the shot. Congo gain possession. Inside. Ball movement, but the pass is slightly off target by Jordan Sacco. As Kande had looked to slice to the basket. Sacco was passing where he was, not where he was going. O2 will make a move to the bench for Madagascar as they make the change. That's on Bazafe has come into the action. Oh, big shot. Exactly what Madagascar needed. Ravello Manansoy. It's the three from distance. Congo's lead down to 10. Ravella Manansoy's personal tally up to eight. The jumper from Congo no good. And their distance shooting is starting to let them down slightly. Good quick hands from Cedric Bonga though to get into the passing lane. That would have been an automatic two if he hadn't got his hand there. Vaselli drives the baseline. Has to put it back out though. Rejected for Alahay. Also, I think going to get called for the foul, or is it going to be Ravello Manansoy? This official cleans some sweat off the ball. Andrew Bonga will head to the bench as we see from a weaker come back into the action. St. John's grad. Travelling violation called on Mavuika. And the Gasco will bring it back the other way. Second quarter's been a little bit more scrappy, but it's favoured Madagascar so far. Behind the back pass wasn't exactly the most precise from Ratsan Basafi. Varela High is off target. Rebound falls into the hands of Rasala Manana. Stole on away, quick hands, Mananga. Foul's going to be called. Is the basket good? No, he's waved it away. The foul was on the floor. Is it going to be an unsportsmanlike foul, though? As it was from behind. Yeah, the hand on the back from Masala Manana. Are they going to blow it as an unsportsmanlike foul? Not sure they are. First foul. 
Oh, Solomon Anna. Second team foul of the quarter for Madagascar. They're just clarifying, I think, whether it's just going to be a regular foul or whether they're going to upgrade it to unsportsmanlike. <laughs> Stolen away. That was the trigger. Mananga stealing away. They're going to review. We're not going to have the mics on for this qualification round, but we are going to see what the officials actually review. We're going to see the steal. Just quick hands there from Maxi Mananga. And it's the hand on the back, I think they're looking at, from Rasula Manana. Are they saying, was he level or was he behind? I think that's probably the conversation they're having right now. Whether they think he was level or whether they think he was behind the play. I want another couple of camera angles of it. Quite happy to watch the steal time and time again. It's just great defense by Maxim and Anger. Reads where the dribble's going to be and puts his hand there. That's the hand in the back from Rosola Manana. Let's see what the officials say. Is it going to be upgraded? And sportsman like foul has been called, so Mananga will get the two shots and Congo will hold on to possession out of that as well as Rosola Manana is called for the unsportsman like foul. to watch the review system used throughout these qualifiers. Gives you a right behind the scenes look, a behind the curtain look of uh, the official's thought processes when they're making some of the more important decisions that we see. Mananga hits the first free throw. Hadn't missed from the free throw line prior to tonight's game, so I've cursed him there for you. I told you, that's his first miss within the qualifiers. Average just shy of eight points a game, though. Eleven point lead for Congo, eleven point deficit for coach Rasa Molina to deal with. Sideline possession. Mubuika looks like he's gonna inbound it. Oh, post fed to Mananga and one play. Back-to-back -back plays from Maxi Mananga. Draws the foul from Raya Lahontan. Mananga will head back to the free throw line. Pretty straightforward. Drop, step, fade away. And it's just that split second where Lahontan drops his hands. I'm not sure what they're calling. I think they're saying the foul was after the shot, so they've given them the two points. And possession. Back into the hands of Sacco. Oh, what a phase of play here for Congo. It's blown the game wide open. And Sacco drains the triple. In fact, they haven't allowed the Mananga shot to count. They're saying it was a foul on the floor, so it's just... The triple from Sacco that we're going to count. So that puts Congo 14 points ahead with a little over six minutes left in this second quarter. Kande now almost has it knocked away, but Congo hold on to possession. Avuika, crossover. Doesn't create the space he wanted to, though. The defense hold fast and... You have to give credit where credit's due to Farella Height. Stayed with his assignment perfectly. Mahontan now. He hands it off. Shot goes up from deep. That's no good. And the uh, transition is another easy two points for Maxi Menanga.
clock. Shot clock had not started on time. They're just going to look to run it down slightly. Big smiles on the faces of the Congo players, and it's difficult for these players, obviously, not to have half a mind already on AfroBasket 2021 later in the year in Kigali, Rwanda. And, uh, will they be there? That's part of the thought process. Have they secured, have they done enough to secure their spot in their national team's jersey, in the roster, in the 12 that are lucky enough to represent their country at the continent's biggest tournament? Who knows, some of them might stake a claim here this evening. That's on Basafi now. Wait to the screen. Has he got the mismatch he wanted against Gadul? Hands it off. Oh, rejection! Gadul comes flying over, but I think the foul's already been called on Mavuika. Look at the help defense, though. Mavuika called for the foul. First foul of the quarter on. Democratic Republic of Congo. First foul on Mavuika as well. As Russell and Manana goes to the line. It's the first of his two. Just his second game in the qualifiers, this one. Scored five points, grabbed five rebounds in the first. 75% from the free throw line in that game as well. Hits both his attempts in this game. First points of the game for him alongside two rebounds. Mananga now opens up. Oh, wise move. Just drops it into the path of Gudjul, and he gets the two. I love it. Mananga's play at the point guard position so far this evening. Lahontan. On Basafi, no good. Yule pulls down the easy rebound, and then Anka gets things going again. This time for himself, drains the three. What a game he is having! Six points, three assists, a little over ten minutes of action. Low post is fed. It's lost by Rasala Manana. Mavuika puts it to the corner. Madagascar recover well defensively. Mavuika's got the mismatch, though. But it's stolen away. Good hustle. As Ratzon Basafi hits the hardwood to hold on to it. He's tied up, though, by Sacco. It's going to be a jump ball situation. Possession arrow in favour of Congo, so they'll take control. Plenty of sweat on the floor that needs cleaning up as Maxi Mananga Shamba goes to the bench. Beautiful action from three, but left way too wide open by Madagascar. Plenty of smiles and appreciation shown from his team on the bench. Three forty-seven left in the second quarter. 19-point lead for Congo. Going exactly the way the form book would have suggested, maybe even more in favour of Congo than it would have suggested. Strong move inside by Kamba is no good, but he gets his own rebound. Gadul now will hand it off. Mavuika, shot clock at four. Gadul goes inside, draws the contact. My goodness me. Kamba tried to throw that down with authority. The pass ahead is kicked out. And the shot is rejected by Kamba as he recovers well defensively. Timeout has been called by Madagascar. They trail by 19. Here's a replay. Oh, Matthew Kamba just flying through the air and swatting that one into the stands. Madagascar have called the timeout. We're going to try and jump into some of these huddles. Hear what the coaching staff has to say. 
Qui peut le mouvement, rien mal n'est Qui s'en a n'est qu'un pôle Et à l'oeil, c'est tout l'eau, non Et à l'oeil, c'est mon appel qui est tout l'eau, non C'est ta couna. Ah, ça fait la tante à mousse, mais c'est l'eau, même de remise à jouer. Ah, oui Here are some of the highlights of exactly how Congo have got to the impressive lead they have so far in this game. It's up to 19 now. Canberra on eight points, two from three from range. But he has shown a little bit of everything, though. Good defensive intensity, strength and athleticism, as well as finesse and fundamentals on the offensive end. Solomon Anna back to the basket, loses the handle. Let's go to the basket. Eventually it falls into the hands of Lahontan. Nice pass though. And the finish is good for Mori. Quick tap pass from Solomon Anna though. That's the one that made it. A duel now. Avuika, lucky to get away with a bit of a travel. Looked like he shuffled his feet, but he got the three away. Into the final three, three minutes of this first half. Nice drop step along the baseline, but the pass lets it down. And Kabongo out at the races for the easy two. And Congo's lead continues to grow and grow. 22 points now, the lead. Mori pulls up long two. Off the glass. I'm not sure he intended to, but points are points when you trail by so many. Francis Mori with the jumper. Has the ability to score, put up 24 points against the Central African Republic back in game day two. Of weaker, moves the ball. And Bongo pinned down in the corner somewhat. Is he going to save it? He's not. And Mori comes away with it. Oh, and the three is good from the wing. A little bit of a resurgence here from Madagascar. This time it's Randriaman Pianona with the triple. Had the time, set himself. Sweet stroke from the wing. And there's the previous play in the Rasulamanana. Tap pass, leaving Mori wide open for the two. Let's listen to coach Erkoff's huddle. Next time, do the same, same action. More behind the ball. You get here, pass it. Quick, quick at it. Boom, go. Touch, go. And then you work it next, next side. La même chose. La même chose. Et cross après. Mathieu. And then boom. If you bring the ball right here, there's nobody on this side. Take him this side. You went this side. Yeah, Take him baseline. Yeah, the guy's only right here. He didn't come up. Okay, if you drive like this, they're going to collapse like this. But let's do this one. Right? right so, pass, touch, go. Madagascar with a bit of a spirited run. And this is what we talked about in the pre-game. They've shown glimpses and glimmers of being able to compete at the highest level in Africa. What they need to do is get a 40 minutes of that strung together in one game. And I'm almost certain they'll come away with the win. They just haven't been able to do it so far in qualification. That's why they sit winless at the bottom of the group at the moment. Congo lead at 17. Strong drive to the basket. And a wonderful soft right hand from Amari Gadul. Only averaging four points and 2.8 rebounds a game. Good duel. Games like this, though, were great for coaches, able to give some of the players that don't get so many minutes a bit more time in the limelight, a bit more time to become accustomed to international basketball. It's certainly a different beast than domestic game is. Andrea Mampia Nona. 
moves it across to Mori. He drives inside, draws the foul from, I think, Mavuika, or is it going to be called on Kamba? Only the second team foul of the quarter for Congo, though. There's only a little over a minute to go. I think that was blown on to Matthew Kamba. Hontan inbounds it. Mavrika just knocks it away. Can't keep it inbounds. Can't quite steal possession. Andrew Man Pianona at the top. Going up against Kemba. Now Mavrika. The shot goes up. And it's looking good. Francis Mori with the three. Madagascar making a surge in the closing stages of this second quarter. Kabongo goes high, can't get the score, but it's off the hands of Mori, so it's going to remain. No, it's not. The officials have said it's off the hand of a Congolese player. So it will be a baseline ball for Madagascar. Madagascar make the change. A solo Manana comes out. Solandrini comes in. Thrown away, unfortunately, by Randria Man Pianona. So it'll be a Congo ball. 33.3 seconds remaining in the first half. Just shy of a 10 second differential between the game clock and the shot clock then. Madagascar will, well, should get possession back before the half time break. Mavrika nails the three. And normal service is resumed for Congo. Lahontan will probably look to take the final shot of or at least initiate the final shot of the half. I think he's looking for some isolation, looking to wave players away. Uses the screen, though, from Solandrini. Two seconds, shot goes up. No good. And that will be the end of the action here in the first half in Tunisia. Final game of Group A, Afro Basket 2021 qualifier. As we see Madagascar taking on the Democratic Republic of Congo. Halfway through this one, Madagascar trail 29 to 48 to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Here we are shooting stats from that first half. As you can see, Congo doing a phenomenal job from outside. Nine from 16 from range. 56%, they've hit as many shots from outside as they have from inside. Also dominating the rebounding battle, 22 to nine, playing some good team ball. They won't be happy with 11 turnovers, neither will Madagascar with 10. Here are your top scorers, Kamba and Mavuika with eight apiece, Kabongo with seven, Ravalaman Sasoi with eight, Mori seven and Botu Five for Madagascar. Well, the first half is in the books here in Tunisia. Final game, Group A, Afro Basket 2021 qualification campaign. And we have Madagascar taking on the Democratic Republic of Congo halfway through the game. And it's uh, kind of following the form book. Following what the pre-game expectations were, Coach Ekhoff and his team have been in control for the majority of the game. Showing a uh, superior level of talent at the moment on the floor and experience. The way they're executing is at a higher level. And that's what's given them a 19-point lead at the half-time break. They lead 29 to 48 over Madagascar. Still 20 minutes to play. Remember, this game won't contribute to qualification. Democratic Republic of Congo already qualified for Afrobasket. They're one of the top three teams in the group, whilst Madagascar will close out qualification bottom of the group. However, at the moment, they don't have a win to their name. 
and how they'd love to correct that problem here today. They don't really want to leave qualification with a 0-6 record. But they've left themselves with an awful lot to do in the second half, trailing by 19 against a strong Democratic Republic of Congo team. Do Madagascar have enough talent? Do they have enough energy? Is there enough gas left in the tank? Remember, this is game three, day three, within this qualification window. That said, it's the same for Congo. The odds would say that Congo are going to run away with the win here. But again, they may have qualified. They may not be playing for qualification, but each of these players is playing for a jersey. One of the 12 lucky Congo players that will be selected to represent their country Afro Basket in Kigali in Rwanda later in the year. And none of the 12 at the moment within this team are guaranteed their jersey. They've got here by real teamwork, no real superstar that's shining through above the rest. So they know they need to put on a big performance for the rest of the game on a personal level for them as players so they can secure that jersey. There are several players that have certainly helped their chances of being part of that Congo roster for AfroBasket 2021. The likes of Kamba have had a big game. Kiyembe started well. Mananga at the uh, point guard position showed real control, as did Kabongo. So several players already just watching today's game, you can imagine, will be expecting a spot in that roster. Let's have a look at our top scorer for the Democratic Republic of Congo from the first half, and that is number 10, Matthew Kamba. Plays like that, pure athleticism married up with some real fundamentally beautiful shooting from range is what's given him his uh, top scorer position. And bear in mind, he's only been averaging, well, in fact, in the last game he played four points, four rebounds in that game, so... Stepping up to the plate in today's game, Matthew Camber, that's for sure. Plenty more to come from him in the second half. Now for Madagascar's top scorer. Ravelo Manansoy leads the way. He has eight points as well. Three from six from the field. And again, as I said, Madagascar have certainly shown glimmers of playing some lovely basketball, particularly on the offensive end. And some great interchanges, a lot of them involving Rovello Manansoy. On his way to eight points. We need a lot more out of him in the second half if they're able to overcome this 19-point deficit they currently face against Democratic Republic of Congo. But at the halfway stage here in Tunisia, it's Madagascar 29, the Democratic Republic of Congo 48. Keep moving the ball, the shot clock's running down. And they attack. And the throw down! Big time play by Joel Awich. What a ball game here in Afro Basket Qualify. Watch this. High flying. Baseline, the quick release for the three is no good. And here come the Central Republic again. Easy to throw that one down. Lukasi hit the runway and threw it down hard. Lukasi on the runway with a reverse slam. by Hontan gets them into the half court. Rasna Mehninina has to throw up a prayer. Oh! And that guy from the halfway line pretty much with no time on the shot clock. Going from bad to worse. For the team in red with the yellow... Uh, numbers. Mulari gets down and throws it through the hoop. The slam. Boy, he's having a good time, isn't he? Have Kenya got anything left in the tank? they played so well. It's been an incredible performance. A long two is good! Unreal! Extraordinary play. Kenya have beaten Angola at the buzzer.
Welcome back to Monastir in Tunisia. We're halfway through the final Afro Basket 2021 Group A qualifier as Madagascar take on the Democratic Republic of Congo. Ravel, Ravelo Manansoy is leading the scoring for Madagascar. He has eight points. Salamanana with two rebounds. Madagascar at the halfway stage, currently trailed by 19 against an ever-impressive Democratic Republic of Congo. A big hill for them to climb in the second half. Remember, as it sits at the moment, they're bottom of the table. Zero wins, five losses. Their Afro Basket 2021 dreams have already gone. They're unable to qualify. But now this is about a building process. Building momentum, building confidence as they try and grow the program. So next time they have the opportunity, they can jump in and hopefully qualify. As for Congo, though, they obviously have qualified already. Remember, if you want to keep up to date with the Afro Basket qualifiers and ultimately the tournament which will take place in Kigali in Rwanda later in the year, what a tournament that's going to be, an unbelievable event. Jump on to FIBA.basketball slash Afro Basket for all your latest news. For Congo, they'll be there. They'll be in Kigali. They'll be in Rwanda. Kamba leading the way with eight points. Sacco with six rebounds. And Mananga, three assists. Plenty of impressive performances in that first half from Congo. And as I say, they've already qualified. It's just uh, wanting to leave with some momentum, leave the qualifiers with some extra confidence, and for the players individually, stake a claim to one of those treasured 12 jerseys that are available for Afro Basket 2021. Kamba, eight points, five rebounds, and a block to his name from the first half. And what a varied, versatile player he is. Happy to mix it up, physical in the paint, uses athleticism on the defensive end, and then has a sweet, sweet stroke from range, if need be. A handful and a tough matchup for most teams that they face. Under three minutes to go now until the start of the second half. Teams just getting themselves prepared for the action. As we see Congo doing some fire feet on the baseline. Madagascar though, although they might not be making it through to the tournament, players like Ravelo and Ansoy are showing the glimmers the potential that exists within Madagascan basketball. And they just need to keep building and building. And certainly in the ascendancy, throughout these qualifiers, they've had phases of play where they've competed against some of the better teams in the entire continent. They've just struggled to do it for 40 minutes. Let's hope that uh, those phases become longer and longer, and then they can get that elusive win. Well, they're uh, as I say, their Afro Basket 2021 dreams came to an end this weekend. Unable to pick up a win thus far. Trail by 19 at the half. So at the moment, it's looking unlikely they're going to leave with a win. But uh, I'm wise enough and old enough, and I've been around enough Afro Basket games to realize that you certainly don't write off any team at the halfway stage. Let's jump into Coach Eckhoff's timeout, uh, Eckhoff's huddle, sorry, and listen to what he has to say. He's going to back screen here. Don't lie to Ali. No, no, no. So, 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 you set the back wrong. Set the back screen for Jordan. Good. So, so this is Kayemba. Kayemba. So Kayemba gets the ball. Boom, boom, boom. Four. He goes down and screens for two. Who comes in like this? Timetlish, 
Certainly missing his performance. Razanama Nina not playing today, put up 29 points, grabbed five rebounds in their game yesterday. One of those bright sparks of the future, just 24 years old, so plenty of years of international basketball ahead of him. I'm sure we'll see him making some headlines in future versions of Afro basket for sure. Second half action underway here in Monastir. Tunisia, last game in Group A of the Afro Basket 2021 20, qualifiers. Strong move to the basket. There's no good. Rebound pulled down by Kiyembe. At the halfway stage in this one, Madagascar 29, Democratic Republic of Congo 48. Bit of a mountain for Madagascar to climb. Good ball movement here by Congo. Dumps it off inside. Good defense. Leads out to the transition and the early score. This time it's Randria Mam Pianona with the transition bucket for Madagascar and a great way for them to start the second half. They know they're going to be need, need to be near perfect in this second half to take the win. That's a, a, a perfect way to start the second half. Shot goes up and he's good. Kamba picks up where he left off. He's up to double digits now. 11 points for Kamba. Mahontan moves it back out. Low post to Solandrini. Back into the hands of Andrea Mam Pianona, who's no good with the uh, the triple. Oh, nice pass inside. Doesn't take full advantage, though. A little slow to react, Camber, in that situation. Plenty of shot clock to play with, though. Going to take the corner three instead, which is no good. But rebound pulled down by Kayembe. Drop steps his way in. Kamba had another opportunity there, didn't take it. He's a little bit hesitant in the start of the second half. That shot's going to fall short into the hands of Raharamananan Tonoi Toinina. Sorry. Strong drive to the basket. Kicks it back out. Solandrain is going to be fouled, though. Kamba will be called for that one. Congo with a 20 point lead. Three put up by Randria Mam Pianona. Doesn't drop though. Neither does Cabongos. Very high pace start to the second half. Not necessarily highly efficient. But plenty of energy on show. So long draining now. Hands it off. Strong drive to the basket, but the finish slightly too weak. And the second attempt is as well for Raharaman and Antonina. Oh, and an attempted flush by Kamba. Looking for the foul, but it's not there. That would have been a huge play. Kambongo slows it down. And eventually Madagascar steal it away. There's the pass. There's the one-handed finish. Rahanaman and on to Nina with the one-hander. We can out. Weaker. Little shake. Little fake. Drive to the basket. Gets the score. 
and heads to the line for the bonus. Marika showing what he can do as Solon Drain is going to get called for the foul. It was that little shake, the little jab step that created the space that he could exploit. Here's the one handed flush at the other end. Hontan averaging almost five assists a game throughout the qualifiers continues to be the distributor within the Madagascan roster. A week as three throw comes up short though, so the lead stays at 20 for the Democratic Republic of Congo. Foul's going to be called. Another one on Camber. That's two fouls in the first four minutes of this second half. Hong Tan drives inside, looks to scoop it up and does so. There's a smart little move from Raya Lahontan. Weaker now. The Yembe loses possession. Madagascar pick it up, and the scrappy style of play is certainly helping Madagascar at the moment. The three goes up, and the three is good from Andrea Mam Pianona. Forcing coach Eckhoff into an early timeout. As the Democratic Republic of Congo's lead is reduced down to just 15 points now. There's a replay of Lahontan, and his move into the lane. Let's jump into the huddle and hear what Coach Eckhoff has to say. Fucking open shots, don't overpass it. If, you got an, if you're a shooter and you have an open shot, you shoot it. All right? Yeah. I like, I, I, yeah. so, I mean. so I like the, the, the desire to pass. But now you either dribble, 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 or overpassing. So get back to good, smart, no, sensible. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. 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 If you, but I actually want more minutes. Right, Looks like uh, Romavuica provides some translation duties on the bench as well, getting Coach Eckhoff's message across in multiple languages. The beauty of international basketball. Can speak several languages as well. Romavuica. Modern day international player, it's certainly helpful, that's for sure. There's a little bit of sweat on the floor that needs cleaning up beforehand. Kabonga now. Offensive foul is going to be called on Jordan Sacco. minutes 10 remaining here in the third quarter 15 point lead now for Congo Madagascar have done a great job in the first five minutes of this quarter to be a thorn in the side of Congo oh and Lahontan continues to be Not the prettiest of looking shots but he's got it to drop but he's hobbling back the other way Raya Lahontan that's a worry for Madagascar because he's intrinsic to what they do that's a difficult move from Gadul. Took some contact on his way through, but was able to control. Old school basketball is no good for Mori. As it looks like the clocks have gone down, or is it a sub?
Yeah, the clocks have gone down on the top of the scoreboards, on the top of the baskets. So we're going to have to wait for that to be corrected. Smart play, really, from Congo as soon as they go down. Get your huddle on the floor, take the extra time you need to get your team ready. Hopefully we can uh, get the technical issues with the scoreboard sorted as soon as possible here. Congo certainly on the back foot since the start of the second half. Three team fouls to their name. The lead trimmed to 15 as Madagascar refused to go away. They're going to battle to the last buzzer, that's for sure. That's the spirit that they have. And they're going to make Congo work every last second for the win. I think they're going to send the teams back to their benches as they look to mend the scoreboards above the baskets. That seems to be the problem. They're going to try and collapse the baskets, I think, and actually physically access the uh, LED boards that sit above them. Both coaches now with an opportunity to have a little bit more input to their players. Also, the players a chance to rehydrate. While we have the break, just a reminder, jump onto FIBA.basketball slash AfroBasket. That will give you all the latest news, everything you need to know around the competition as we build up to what is set to be one of, if not the most exciting Afro basket we've ever had in Kigali, Rwanda later this year. We're seeing the qualification teams flood in across this weekend. And uh, my goodness me, are there some absolute storming games ahead of us when we get to Rwanda. So already qualified, obviously Rwanda as hosts, Angola, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Democratic Republic of Congo, Cote d'Ivoire, Egypt, Kenya, Mali, Nigeria, Senegal, South Sudan making their way through, and Tunisia. Some wonderful big names, but also some new names going to be added to the uh, history of Afro Basket as well. Andrea. Andrian Pianona there with eight points. Two from six from range. As I was saying, the uh, just three qualification spots left up for grabs. The rest of the qualification has been decided. Anyone that's joining us, the reason we have a break in play is there's a technical issue in the arena with the scoreboards above the baskets, the shot clocks and the clocks above the baskets. That's where we are at the moment. That's why we're stopping while the uh, officials and crews get to work to fix the issues we have. Just sharing some of the highlights from today's game. There's the Hontan with a wonderful cut across the basket, across the key to get the score. Just a little shimmy in the shake, create the space for him. Step back jumper as well. Yeah, here are some of the highlights from our plate so far in the game. But as it stands, clearly the Democratic Republic of Congo are in control of proceedings. Four minutes 20 left on the third quarter clock. They lead by 15. basket on the left hand side of the court as you see it on your screens is uh, just being adjusted and amended and the uh, LED board being attended to the scoreboard at the other end of the floor is working so we're just waiting for the technical people that know what they're doing with all of that stuff to uh, do their magic and get the uh, board back up and running as you see players trying to stay warm and that'll be the concern if it takes too long that the players will cool down pretty quickly and that 
maybe they'll need a little bit of warm-up time to get back up to tempo, up to speed. Officials now talking to the team. Coach Eckhoff with a big thumbs up and a big cheesy grin. Thank you, coach. He'll certainly be happy that qualification is in the bag and not having to wait for today's game to secure it. As the officials are having a meeting on the sidelines by the officials' table. Players still trying to keep themselves warm while the uh, technical issues they're suffering at the moment are looked into. Hopefully we'll have them resolved for you shortly. Always the way. You live and die by technology. Wonderful when it's with us, but we're lost without it. back into their warm-up kits as well pretty quickly. Smart move. Try and maintain some of that body heat. And Agassi will be slightly frustrated because they were uh, building a little bit of momentum prior to this break. They'd come out in the second half outscoring Congo 11-7. to In the first well, six and a half minutes of the, the third quarter and bear in mind, they only scored 12 in the entire first quarter. So they'll be very happy with how the third quarter's gone. They'll probably be slightly more frustrated that they've been stopped in mid-flow, as it were. As you can see from that camera angle, if you can uh, make it out in the distance, in the middle distance, the basket at the other end of the floor at the moment is on its knees. It's uh, been brought down to court level with uh, technical people sprawling over it, feverishly working on the LED board above the backboard, trying to make sure that they can find the problem and solve it as soon as possible. I'm sure there's a plan B, plan C, all the way down to plan Z in place, <laughs> if need be. The nice thing we've got is there's plenty of highlights to keep you entertained while we wait. It feels like... Uh, we aren't far off restarting. The solution has been found, I feel. Let's hope it uh, stays in place while the basket's put back up. The sticky tape that they've used works. <laughs> and the players will get ready to go again. Yeah, scoreboard's back up. As you can see, they're just bringing the basket back up to the official height. So we'll be ready to go again very shortly. Not sure whether they're going to give the players any time to re-warm up or whether they'll want them just to go straight back into the action. I'm sure it'll be down to the players and the coaching staff so that the official know, officials know how they feel. Ultimately, player safety is the primary concern in these kind of situations. You don't want cold players going out there, picking up an injury unnecessarily. players just trying to get themselves warmed again. Basket's back up in play. Officials look like they're ready to go. Players look like they might be ready to go. I think we're close now. Well, looks at coach Ekhoff. He's more than ready to go. And uh, we're ready to restart after that momentary gap in play due to a technical issue with the scoreboard above that basket that you see in your 
TV shot right now. But that's been resolved and we're good to go. Just under four minutes and 20 remaining here in the third quarter. 15 point lead for Congo. Madagascar were making a, a comeback at them prior to the break. Kamba puts the three up. Rebound is pulled down by Sacco. He goes up strong and gets the score. Carrying a couple of Madagascan defenders on his back while he did. Strong drive inside, double team comes across. The score is no good, yes it is. For Haraman and Antonoine gets the score. Oh, nice crossover from Mananga. Move the ball well, baseline drive. Mananga for three. Off to the right, rebound into the hands of Kamba. Mananga will try again. No joy again. Sacco this time with the rebound. Kamba. Short, put back, it's good to go. This time, Gadul will get the score. Crossover on the baseline drive, hands it off to Mori. Manages to just about hold on to it and get the score. Coach Ekhoff banging his fists on the advertising boards on the sideline. Demands a lot from his team, has high expectations. And that's, you know, he's fully aware of their potential. They could go far in Afro Basket this year. They fulfill that potential. And Anger goes under. Kabongo goes inside and is absolutely clattered by Mori as he does so. Ends up on the floor. Only the second team foul of the quarter on Madagascar though, but Unfortunate for Mori, there are only two seconds left on the shot clock when he committed the foul. I think they were saying he was in the act of shooting, so they're going to give him free throws as well. I think Kabongo is pretty fortunate on that interpretation. Misses the first. Connect with the second. Congo's lead back up to 16. Just over two minutes to play in the third quarter now. Lahontan, oh, lovely change of direction. Almost a mini Euro step to clear some space. He's up to eight points personal now. There's the pass off. And there's yet another score for Kamba. 13.6 rebounds to him. Congo continue to hold Madagascar at arm's length. There's the pass inside, and Murray can't get it to go. Earns himself a trip to the charity stripe. Hontan doing an awful lot for his team right now. There's the Euro step. Shows how effective it can be when executed well. Just opens the defense up, creates a lane that you can exploit. Sacco was called for that foul. We're seeing. Cedric Bonga come back into the game. Kamba is headed to the bench. Mori hits the first of his two free throws. Twenty-nine years old. The prime of his career, really contributing as well for his national team. Gadul hands it back, and the way Konga move as a... Uh, oh, my goodness, and he just punches that one home. Jordan Sacco. 
was saying is the way Congo move as a team is, is phenomenal. Very fluid, they understand each other. Impressive. Stolen away, out at the break, three on one. Clear the runway, up goes Jordan, uh, up goes Gadul for the dunk. And you can see the reaction on the Congolese bench. They are pumped for it now. You can almost smell the blood in the water. They're ready to go for the kill. Final 30 or so seconds. Another steal this time, Mananga. He feeds it to Bonga for three. Doesn't get it to go. But the rebound is pulled down by Sacco. Tries to get the score as he's edged out, but he's unfortunately not able to. Lahontan now will slow it down. And will look to take the final shots of the quarter. Oh, and he just weaves his way to the basket. The whistle's been blown. I think the foul has been called. The Congo players are looking for a travelling violation. And there's the punch. Dunk from Gadul. Three seconds left on the quarter clock as Lahontan will go to the line for two shots. 88% from the free throw line prior to today's game. Rahal Lahontan. Badul receiving praise from his teammates. Look at that finish. But you could see from the way he was approaching it all the way down the floor, only one thing was going to happen. There was no way he was giving that ball up. Lahontan hits the first of his two free throws. Hits them both, takes himself to double digits now. 10 points, two balls, two assists. The heave at the end of the third quarter is no good. 10 minutes left on the game clock here. In Tunisia, 10 minutes left in the Group A of the Afro Basket 2021 qualifiers. A Madagascar trail, 50 to 66 to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Here we are shooting percentages. Congo still impressive across the board. What can they do in the final 10 minutes? And can Madagascar make a run of it? Here are some of the highlights from that third quarter. And bar the interruption, due to a technical problem with one of the baskets. What a wonderful third quarter we had. Madagascar did all they could to try and push themselves back into the game. Certainly made Congo work hard in that quarter. And it was their highest scoring quarter of the game. In fact, so, yeah, 21 points they put up in that quarter. By far their highest scoring quarter of the game. Congo have just held them at arm's length. Still a 16-point lead with 10 minutes to play. You would say that that is a bridge too far for Madagascar to move. They need to be near perfect in the final quarter, probably limiting to Congo to maybe 10, 15 points maximum and have their best offensive quarter of the game. But here we go. Final quarter action underway here in Tunisia. Group 8, Afro Basket qualifiers. Game day six, Madagascar trail by 16 to Congo. With 10 minutes left to play. Mananga, no good, rebounding battle. Almost won by Kande. Outlet pass, it's successful. Murray goes inside, floats up with the right hand. That's a strong move. Going in amongst the trees, gets the score. Foul is going to be called on Botu, or is it? In fact, the foul is going to be called on Garmin Kande. Much to the shock of coach Eckhoff. 
It'll be a baseline ball for Madagascar. Nice pass, and he has been at the centre of pretty much everything good that's happened for Madagascar. O2, strong move, goes in and out. Good rebound by Mori. Madagascar have had a strong start to this quarter. 4-0 run to get things underway. Maybe they do have it in them to fight their way back in. They trail by just 12 now. Mananga floats it up, gets the score. He's up to eight. Baseline pass from Lahontan. Into Botu, foul's called, so Botu will go to the line. I think Cavaselli's been called for the foul for Congo. Let's have a look at the replay. Yeah, I think the defense was great from Kande, but it was when Cavaselli came across, his arms were down, they weren't up. And that's what uh, enabled Botu to draw the foul. Just over eight minutes to play. It's the first of his two free throws. And the second takes his uh, personal tally to seven. And Anger floats it up. No joy. Rebound pulled down by Cavaselli. He'll have to go again, though. Does and scores. Persistence pays for Griffin Cavaselli. Sorry for Herve Cavaselli. Lahontan drives the baseline, Euro steps. What an awkward looking shot from Lahontan. Didn't get it to go. Almost throws it over his shoulder as he Euro steps away from the basket. Cedric Bonga. No good. Rebound pulled down well by Francis Mori. Ten seconds left on the shot clock for Madagascar to work with. But it's thrown away. And Anger throws it away as well. Madagascar saying it's their ball. Democratic Republic of Congo saying it's theirs. As we see Gummy Kende head to the bench. Bidoul comes back in. Mananga slips under the screen. Smart play when you go in amongst the trees and you're undersized. You need to have a few tricks in your kit bag. And a little shovel scoop shot underneath is a key one. Randria Mam Pianona to the basket. Doesn't get the score. Manages to get it over the fingertips of Gadul. Hands it off. Knocked away though. The defense from Madagascar is good and the frenetic pace continues here. And the score. Botu. 14 point lead now for Congo. This frenetic, slightly looser feel to the game seems to be playing into the hands of Madagascar at the moment. I wouldn't be surprised if Coach Ekhoff pulls a timeout if uh, the lead shrinks any more. Cavaselli's fallen over. Mori has been blown for the foul.
A little under six minutes left in the game here. There's the crossover. And a little up and under shot, as I was saying. It's a smart shot when you go in amongst the trees. You need to find the little glimmer of light to split the defenders and get to the hole. Murray with the foul. That will send Gadul to the line for free throws. Can't hit the first. Amari Gadul, one of these players that will be not necessarily guaranteed a jersey Afro basket just yet. Should be. Definitely has the talent. Definitely fulfills a need within the team. They want to secure his jersey, that's for sure. Hitting some free throws will definitely help. And tonight's performance will definitely help as well. Up to 11 points, along with four rebounds. Shot goes up from Raharaman and then Toinina, and he can't get it to go. Saka will put the three up. That shot's no good. Rebound to Cavaselli, but it's swept away. Lahontan now. Five and a half minutes to play. Oh, and the shot is good. Randria man, Pianona, drops the triple. I think it'll be a timeout next time, surely. I'm amazed Coach Eckhoff has not called a timeout yet. His lead is down to 12. A flat shot from Gadul. A smart play, though, from Cabaselli, but he can't get the score. he have to go to the free throw line and earn his points the hard way. Botu called for the foul. There's the flat shot from Gadul. There's the rebound from Cabaselli, and it's... Uh, you know, as he's falling backwards, he gets the shot away. Smart play. As we see, Sacco and Bonga head to the bench. Kibiseli heads to the free throw line, hits the first of his two. Six rebounds to his name, but only three points so far this evening. Make that four. Five minutes now left on the game clock. What have Madagascar got? Is there any gas left in the tank to mount what would be one of the biggest comebacks within their national team history? Lahontam way downtown for three. Now that is range. Why has he not been doing more of that? 13 points now for Lahonta. The duel. Shot clock running down. Shot goes up. No good, but gets the roll. Basketball gods shining down on Kabongo. That's a tough pass, but it's well executed. Shot clock at eight. Foul going to be called. No, in fact, steps out of bounds. It's going to be a turnover. Good defense in the end by Mananga. Andrea Mam Pianona. Here's the three from way, way, way downtown by Lahonta. Hopes to the basket, smart play. Camber back into the action straight away. Makes his presence felt. He's up to 15 points now, along with six rebounds. Definitely one of the standout performances from this evening's game. His biggest score within the qualifiers as well. Only played one other game.
Mori with the uh, foul again. 13th foul of the quarter for Madagascar as well. Congo's lead back out to 16. And a turnover, Mananga, good hands. There's the pass, Mananga, soft right hand, doesn't get the roll. Cabaselli walked away, he thought it was going down. Probably could have got the rebound, he wasn't the front court pairing that had managed to get back for Madagascar. Offensive foul call, it's the right call. As the screen was nowhere near stationary. No two. His mind was already on where he needed to get to, rather than the job he had setting the screen. Monangan out. Kabongo floats inside. Euro step rejected. Good hands by Raharaman and on Toinina. But the Hontan can't hold on to that one. That will be Congo ball on the side. Three minutes to play. 16 point lead for Congo. It seems to be going the way of the form book. Mananga, elbow jumper, no good. Rebound battle won by Gadul. Kamba nails the three from the corner. And everything he touches turns to gold this evening. Appreciation from his teammates and the coaching staff and no real surprise. He has been absolutely on fire. 19.6 rebounds, seven from 13 from the field. When you score that number of points and it's at above 50%, it's impressive. Here's the Madagascar hub. Some of the highlight plays, no real surprise that we're seeing. Amber in an awful lot of them. He really has been in fine form this evening. And if he hasn't got a jersey locked in for Afro Basket 2021, I'll be amazed. 19.6 rebounds here this evening for Camber. If we don't see him in Kigali later in the year, then something certainly has gone awry. Action underway, a little over two and a half minutes remaining. Lahontan now. Last two and a half minutes of Madagascar's Afro Basket 2021 campaign. It comes to an end here for them. That shot falls short. Rebound is pulled down by Kabongo. Failed to win a game yet within the qualifiers. It looks like. They're going to finish the qualifiers, zero wins, six losses. They'll be disappointed at that stat. They need to analyze on a deeper level. Step back from Muncie is an air ball. His first taste of the action brings a smile up from his coach. I'm not sure the smile would be there if qualification was still up for grabs. Or if the game was on the line. Lahontan now picks his way through, tries to get the pass over to Raharaman Anan Toinina, but unfortunately, it wasn't quite accurate enough. Lahontan's just holding his ribs, maybe took a shot to the ribs on that last drive. Sets the screen. 
for Kabongo. He puts the shot up. Nothing there. Mori can't hold on to the rebound. Kamba! A one-handed punch. To grab himself another two. 21 points now. Foul's going to be called. I presume on Kamba. I think Bralhai is quite lucky as the screen didn't look like it was set that uh, cleanly. Here's the dunk from Kamba on that last play. Turn left on the shot clock. What can Lahon Tan do? Foul's been called. Not sure who on yet. I think it is on Paralahai. A turnover and Congo will take possession with a minute and seven seconds remaining on the game clock. 21 point lead. And that will send Kabongo to the free throw line, I think. Waiting for clarification. If it's class and offensive foul, I don't think it will. It should just be a sideline possession. And it will be. Twenty-one point lead and the win come in the way of Congo. And the score is good. And the sun is shining on the Democratic Republic of Congo team right now. This will move them to a 500 record, three wins, three losses in their qualification campaign. Shot goes up from the corner. That's no good. Final 30 seconds now of the action. Strong drive to the basket, whistle is blown. As Kabongo heads head first into the advertising board, a cheeky little wink to the camera to let us know he's all right. That's always appreciated. We do wonder sometimes. But he'll head to the free throw line. Almost an acrobatic move over the ad boards, to be fair. Kabongo. Kabongo at the free throw line now for two shots. He gets the roll after he screams short. Second attempt. Gets the second to go. Takes his personal tally to 14 now, along with four assists. Less than a second differential between shot clock and game clock, so I imagine they'll just run the game clock out. No point in playing on. Nothing to be achieved, or are they going to? Looks like Andrea Mam Pianona wants to have one last run at the basket. Hands it away. Shot goes up. No good. And that will be the final play of the game here in Tunisia. The final play of Afro Basket 2021 qualification here in Group A. And what a game we've had. Democratic Republic of Congo lead and won this one 89 64 over Madagascar, really putting a seal of approval on their qualification for AfroBasket 2021. Final score Madagascar 64, Democratic Republic of Congo 89. can definitely be seen as job done for both these teams here this evening. There wasn't qualification up for grabs. That had been achieved yesterday for the Democratic Republic of Congo. They knew that they were on their way to Kigali in Rwanda later in the year to take on the good and the great in African basketball at Afro Basket 2021. What a tournament that's shaping up to be. As this weekend, we've seen 
plenty of teams seal their qualification. As for Madagascar, Lahontan and his teammates, back to the drawing board for them. Unfortunately, they've not been able to qualify this time, but it's a building process. They've shown that gradually, slowly and surely, they're getting better. The team are building. Some of the young talent are starting to break through and show what they can do. It was a shame we couldn't see Razanama Hanina this evening. He had a big game yesterday with 29 points. Didn't play today, presumably because of injury. But the, uh, the future is bright for Madagascan basketball. They'll be down at the moment as we look at the shooting percentages. Pretty consistent from both teams across the board. Just more shots attempted from Congo. Just plenty of offensive rebounds. You can see they dominated the rebounding battle. 21 rebound advantage to Congo. They also played some good team basketball. 20 assists for their 89 points. And here are your top scorers. Kamba led the way, 21 points. Kabongo with 14. On the Madagascan side, Mori with 15 and Lahontan with 13. Here are your second half highlights and plenty to look at. Madagascar got out to a great start to the second half and they certainly applied some pressure and tried to break down Congo in that second half. Never quite managed to get within single digits. They got close and I'm sure there were a few sweaty moments for Coach Ekhoff on the Congo bench, but ultimately Congo were just too strong. The depth in their roster was too strong. And that's what sealed them the win here. As I say, this moves them on to a three-win, three-loss record. Same record as the Central African Republic as well. Which means they will finish second by rights, I think, within this group. Not that it plays a huge part as it's the top three teams that qualify and it will be the FIBA ranking that will determine pot seedings for the draw, I imagine, within Afro Basket. But what a performance by both teams here this evening. Congo showing clearly why they're on their way to Afro Basket 2021, whilst Madagascar showing us, as they've shown us throughout this qualification campaign, that they do have the talent, they do have the ability. At the moment, it's just slightly inconsistent. They're not able to string it together for prolonged periods of time, and that's what's costing them. That's what means they're not quite able to get those wins in the bag just yet. But plays like that from Lahontan have been exceptionally entertaining throughout their qualification campaign. Kamba was on a different level today and was lighting up the game from downtown in the paint, finishing with some authority like that. And he really is a, a superstar of African basketball. And uh, plenty of fans will be excited to see him in the Congolese jersey later this year in Kigali in Rwanda for Afro Basket 2021. Remember, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest Afro Basket news, you need to head to fiba.basketball forward slash Afro Basket. Here's the final group standings in Group A. Tunisia top the table unbeaten. Democratic Republic of Congo in second. Central African Republic in third. And then Madagascar propping up without a win. Zero and six. Thank you so much for joining me. What a game we've had here. 89 to Democratic Republic of Congo, 64 to Madagascar.